spending some time now working on planning for our upcoming school year 2017 through 18 and I thought I would just take a break and show you what I have so far. Uh, in this video I'm not going to show you into any of the resources that we're using. Um, I just thought I would kind of show you kind of like a general idea, general overview of our upcoming school year of the things we're going to be learning about and how I'm breaking them down. So that's what this video is about. So get ready. Okay, so the planner I'm using this year is a new one, and it is called a Homeschool Plan for a Living Education. Okay. The first thing I wanted to show you is um, a page that I added extra. The first page I wanted to show you is a page that I just added in my planner. It's for the 2017 through 18 school year. It's just a general overview. Um, I have it broken down into subjects, so here's math, and my oldest, what she'll be doing, and the concepts that she'll be learning. My youngest, what she'll be doing, and her, her concepts that she'll be learning. And then science. I've already went over this with you in another video of our science, um, how we're using a traditional textbook, Charlotte Mason style, so if you're interested in that video. Um, the concepts we'll be learning in language arts, and then our reading. This list is for our science, our required reading for our science and our history as well. And then over here, I have history, Bible, and geography because the curriculum we're going to be using this year for our history, Bible, and geography is this one from Simply Charlotte Mason. It's Middle Ages, Renaissance, Reformation, and Epistles, a family study handbook. This is for grades 1 through 12. So it covers all three. So here is the history. We'll be learning about the time period of 394 through 1550 A.D. Um, for geography, we'll be studying Europe, Asia, and early explorers. And these are the things we'll be doing for Bible. And then we have art, the artists that we'll be studying about, and the composers for music. And on this back part, I have handicrafts here. You can see I don't have anything listed because we are moving. Um, our house sold, and... We are in the process of buying another one, and we should have both of those, both houses closed on in about three weeks. So I'm just waiting on once we're moved and settled and everything to see, you know, everything, <laughs> to see kind of what, what handicrafts will do then. Um, for foreign language, we'll be continuing with our Spanish, and then I have some extras here. And in that video, I had... Um, In that video, I had mentioned about the, uh, and you saw these pages, um, this one, this page, the plan, <laughs> and this page. You saw these three pages in that video, um, how to use, like how we're going to be doing science next year, you know, using a traditional science textbook, Charlotte Mason style. So I, I showed you this. Um, so these are the topics that we'll be learning about for both of my kids for science next year. We're doing science together. So I just wanted to, to go over these with you before I started showing you um, what I have so far for planning. Okay, so um, on this page of the planner, it is titled This Year's Studies. And, okay, so for the whole school year, 2017 through 18, both of my kids were doing school together Aside for their math, their math will be separate, and their language arts, that one I'm not 100% sure. Some things they'll do together and some things they'll do separate. So on this planning stuff, you won't see math or language arts planned out. Okay, but for the artist study, we're going to be studying Van Gogh, Mary Cassatt, Rembrandt, and Edward Hopper next year. Um, these are just some of the books that we'll be using um, getting to Know the World's Greatest Artist for Van Gogh. And then I also have this one, too, over Van Gogh. So we'll be doing those. Then I have one for Mary Cassatt, or Cassatt, however you pronounce that. Rembrandt, 
and Edward Hopper. Um, if you're interested on an artist study um, on what exactly we'll be doing, you can go to my, my blog, PreciousHomeschool.com, and there's a, a link for artist study, and I have it labeled out exactly what my plan is to, to do the artist study. So, anyhow, I'm just kind of making up our artist I'm just kind of making up our artist study. Okay, so for the composer study, we are going to be doing Beethoven, Frederick Chopin, I think that's how you pronounce it, Antonio Vivaldi, and I always have trouble pronouncing his name, the guy that done the Nutcracker and Swan Lake, um, Tchaikovsky, is that right? I always say that wrong. And for for that, um, I will be finishing the book that we started for our composer study this current school year, well, this last school year. <laughs> um, I'll be using Composers that was written by Amanda Bennett, and it's a download and go um, curriculum thing, and we really enjoy it. It is a lot of fun. It is very, it's just good and complete, well-rounded. It's just a great program. I highly recommend it. And I will do a review on that sometime. But, so we will be finishing up with that program. I think it ends at Chopin, or Chopin. Um, I think that's where it ends. So on Vivaldi and this guy, I'll have to create my own. Now for our poet, we will be studying Emily Dickinson. And I bought this book of her. Um, Simply Charlotte Mason presents Enjoy the Poems, Emily Dickinson. And they have a little picture and a biography of Emily Dickinson in here, somewhere. It tells you how to enjoy the poems, and it has getting to know Emily Dickinson. And then it just has um, several pages of, of poems that she wrote. It doesn't have all of them, it just has, you know, it has enough. It's just a thin little book. But anyway... So we're going to be using this book. We're going to be studying, because this past school year, we were just kind of picking and choosing our own poems and memorizing what we wanted, and that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Um, but I saw that they had these, and I thought that that was a pretty neat idea to spend the year studying specifically about one famous poet and memorizing, you know, multiple poems that that poet wrote. So I just thought that was neat. So that's what we're going to be doing. And the poems that I picked out to study, my plan is to study one poem a semester. And I know Charlotte Mason, well, on that website, Simply Charlotte Mason, they kind of recommend like six semesters. Well, we don't do that. We, we do four. Um, we do... We... Our school year is like a 40-week school year. Um, we're usually done anywhere between 32 and 36 weeks, but I always plan for 40 weeks just in case, you know, life happens. You never know. So by doing, by doing a basic, so by doing a 40-week school year and we have four quarters, you know, that gives us 10 weeks for each quarter. Um, but our quarters will probably be, you know, only like 8 to 10 weeks long. So we're just going to work on studying a poet, I mean a poem, memorizing a poem each semester. So these four poems are by Emily Dickinson, and we will memorize the Sea of the Sea of Sunset, Hope, If I Can Stop, and then Autumn. And we'll just do one of those a semester. For crafts, I don't have anything listed yet, haven't got that far. Same way with Bible memorization. Um, I haven't decided if I want to to memorize scripture based around a certain character, you know, character trait, or a certain rule or teaching or something like that, or if I just want to pick out random verses that sound good, I don't know. But, so that's why that's not filled in yet. For the geography, we'll be studying Europe and Asia. Um, for the Bible, we'll be studying James, Galatians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, and 1st and 2nd Corinthians. The history will be, time period will be three, 394 through 1550 AD. We'll be studying the Middle Ages, Renaissance, and Reformation. 
And the history, the history of the Bible and the geography are all coming from this book, Simply Charlotte Mason, Middle Ages. And um, so here's just a little table of contents. So um, since we are doing four semesters, since we're doing four quarters, I don't know if I said semesters or not earlier, but since we're doing four quarters, I just took all the lessons and I just divided them down. I just divided them into four. So trying to balance it out like that and find a good starting and stopping place for each new quarter. Um, they have a pretty good book list in here. Like, let me show you real quick. Like here is resources needed. So all of this from right here down to here are the things that you do need to have. And then um, carrying on, like grades 1 through 3, they have a book list. And also for 4 through 6, 7 through 9, and 10 through 12, they have a book list. So we have a, that reading and stuff to do. And I will do a video on our actual history on all the stuff that we're using once it all comes in. I'm still waiting on, on a couple more books to come in. But for the actual reading books um, that the kids have to read, I'm not going to buy those unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to see if the new place that we're moving to, if their library has them. That would be best. Okay, um... Now for the science, this is the part I showed you in the back in that video that I told you about um, the uh, using a traditional science textbook Charlotte Mason style in that video. These are the topics I told you about we're going to be learning about, like intro to science, insects, birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, fish, oceanography, plants, microscope, forestry, classification, creation of science, ecology, geology, and health, like the human body. For the foreign language, we are continuing that Spanish on um, getting started with Spanish, and I've done a video on that if you're interested. So those are like the topics, um, the subjects that we're going to be learning about for next year. I am I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the kids are too. I think it'll be nice and well-rounded. Um, I think it'll be fun. For the crafts, like the handicrafts, I'm using a book that you can get on Archive, I believe, or Google Books maybe. It is called Handicrafts for the Handy Girl, I think is what it's called. Anyway, it's a pretty big book, but, um, but that's where, what we're going to be using. So this page right here was for the whole year, the topics and subjects for the whole year. And then this planner also has um, where you can break it down into quarters. And on that website, simplycharlottemason.com, you know, they they kind of go by like a six-week quarter. Um, I said that wrong. And on the simplycharlottemason.com website, they go by um, like three terms, um, I think is what they say, or six quarters. I'm not sure. Something like that. Three or six. But, once again, we just do four quarters. So... I have my first quarter one almost done. It's not filled out yet. So this is quarter one. And um, the poems to memorize, like I said, this is the one we're memorizing. Um, let's see. The Middle Ages. You know, I told you on this book, I just took all the lessons, divided it into four quarters to kind of get an idea of how many lessons I would need to do each quarter. So that's what I've done here. Um, we will try to do lessons 1 through 40 um, for the first quarter, and that will be studying the Middle Ages. We'll be learning about Alaric, the Visigoth, all the way through Joan of Arc. And these are the, and I actually went through each lesson, and these are the timeline figures that I need to get um, from Alaric through Joan of Arc. And I have the Homeschool in the Woods timeline packet, and these are all the pages for the timeline figures. So all those timeline figures are on these pages in my timeline packet. So I just gotta go. So I just have to go and grab those pages and print them off. So 
kind of done the, the leg work already. Um, for the Bible, for the first semester, we'll be learning from James 1 through Galatians chapter 3. The read-alouds, um, I will continue reading Burgess Bird book, and I need to do a video on this. This book is just it's it's so amazing. <laughs> it is such a great book. Um, and I have a playlist on YouTube that has videos of all the birds that go in order with this book to kind of help, while you're reading this book, to kind of help give your kids and yourself a good visual of what exactly the bird is that's being talked about in the book. So we will continue reading the Burgess Bird book, um, Blackie the Crow, Famous Men of the Middle Ages, Around the World in a Hundred Years, and that book just came in the mail today, um, Christopher Columbus. And then for the independent reading, um, my kids on their own, now both of my kids, they're not both going to read these books. Um, one will read one, one will read the other, you know, it's just... And for the independent reading, these are the books that my kids have to read for the first quarter. And both of these boxes, they are for science and history, okay? So, like, they'll be reading Owls in the Family, King Arthur and His Knights, The Pied Piper of Hamelon, which that's a poem, The Vikings, and then Adam of the Road. So the first artist that we will be studying about for the new school year, for quarter one, is Van Gogh. And we will study about Beethoven as well. Now, on these two, on Van Gogh and Beethoven, for the artist and the composer, we will not be studying both of them at the same time because I do not want to confuse the kids. Like, for example, at the end of this school year that just finished, um, we were studying about Monet, the artist, and we were also studying about Mozart, the, the composer. Well, at one point, my youngest thought Mozart was the painter and Monet was the composer. So, I will not make that mistake again. Um, which, I mean, she she realized it and cleared it up and everything. So, you know, it, it wasn't didn't have any long-lasting effects. But, I thought since each of our quarters is going to be 8 to 10 weeks, then we can spend, you know, 2 or 3 weeks working on the artist. And then, you know two to three weeks or more if necessary, but up to four weeks studying an artist and up to four weeks studying a, the composer. Just once we got done with the artist, be done and then do the composer, not do them at the same time. So that is what that was about. Now, over here for the science, our science activities, we're going to compare bird and mammal bones and also online videos and a pet store. The nature activities, which the science and nature, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. Well, they do go hand in hand. Um, we'll be doing nature walks, going um, while we're walking, looking for birds, their feathers, their nest, listening for their sounds, doing some sketches of them, um, maybe make a collection of, I don't know, whatever we happen to feel like, um, possibly build a birdhouse. So the first quarter, you can see we're, we're basically learning about birds here. And that carries, that comes from, let me find it if I can. And that comes from this, the plan that I told you about. Like all those in bold print. Like, you know, we're... For science, we're going to be doing introduction to science, insects, birds, mammals, and so on. And you can see we're not doing insects first. It's because um, right now, you know, birds are so abundant, which insects are too. But um, we have been reading the bird book, and we're just going to pick up and just continue it. And so we're going to do these two together. And then I think quarter two we will do insects. It really depends on the season. Um, things like that, you know, if it'll affect our lessons or not. So I'm just kind of tying them in to what is abundant at that time. Okay, um, there was something else I was wanting to say. Oh, this is just our, our weekly or daily lesson plan. I'm going to try to use this for 
a week. There are five lines, you know, so it could be used Monday through Friday. Um, I'm going to try to use it for a week. But if I need to, I can always use it as a daily planner too. That would be really nice, but it would just take up more paper and all that. Um, there's something else I was wanting to show you in here. Okay. This is just a page of some of the resources that we're going to be using. And this is a list of the required reading, whether they are read-alouds or independent reading. This is a list of the books that has to be read in order to complete um, next year's curriculum. So all these with S's, these are all books that go with their science curriculum. And the H, the H is here. <coughs> And the H's, they are books that goes with their history curriculum. So, There you go. I just wanted to show you kind of um, the topics and subjects we're going to work on for the upcoming school year, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just ask. Um, I do not know when I will be doing another video. Um, I actually do have one. I guess my next one will be where I go through this page by page, in case you're interested in this planner. Um, but after that, I don't know when my next one will be, because like I said, you know, our house sold and we're buying another one now, and all that is coming up really soon, and just have to see how that goes, and my time and everything, so, but thank you for watching. Bye.